Okay, so long before I got down on one knee to propose to this lovely, lovely woman uh, who was across from me, we had this idea about having a podcast. And that was an idea that we had together. Um, but of course, other things happened along the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got sidetracked, I think it was, and uh, a wedding later and maybe a campaign for mayor uh, later. And now here we are. Yeah. So, um, hey, baby. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. So, I'm excited. Yeah. When when we first met, well, when we knew each other before, like, we probably met maybe a half a dozen times. We actually met a handful of times for about 30 seconds each time. Just enough to say, hi, nice to meet you. Or, hey, how are you? Yeah, at the restaurant or at some events or, you know, this. And by the restaurant, you mean my restaurant Roulette. back in the day. Roulette's yes, restaurant Roulette's. and catering. Restaurant and catering. <laughs> Actually, and... yeah. Yeah. That was a long time ago. The Brulee's. People used to call it Brulee's. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we would see each other, but uh, when we kind of got to know each other, which was in 2020, it was I was going through my divorce, and I was out in Newton, and uh, you know we connected, and it was actually all about I I, I had my COVID pro project, my my passion project, which was to create a podcast, but then to write a book. Mm -hmm. And Kara is is an author, so I reached out to her. And yeah, I think I had had put something out on Facebook about the book. I uh, published a second edition of my first book, and so there was a Facebook post about that. And I think that's what you saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I ended up sending you a book, and yeah. I signed it. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And so, and that was really, really cool. And uh, wait, but I think you, you, did you hand deliver it to me? I can't remember. No, I mailed you it. Mail I mailed it oh, in the big yeah. yellow envelope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, with a nice note with it and everything. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. So um, our friend, by the way, um, everyone who comments here, uh, this is the uh, opener for The Blend. And this is a podcast all about uh, family, blending families and pop culture and everything that comes along with raising children between the ages of eight and 15 mm -hmm. and uh, everything in between that happens and, uh, and, and a whole lot more. So we're going to have guests and we're going to have all kinds of fun stuff happening. And so we'll probably do it uh, once a week and we're going to have um, lots of great conversations. So um, if you do comment uh, here or react, uh, you're going to be put in the running for a uh, free uh, session with Cara uh, yeah. for uh, Balance and Bliss. So tell everyone about Balance. So Balance and Bliss Wellness is actually right next door from John's studio. And I am an energy healer and a holistic uh, life coach. I've been doing that for probably about 15 years now. And uh, I'm also a Reiki master. So I've had a couple people ask me uh, if I do attunements, if um, I teach classes. Yes, I do. Um, so you can come for an energy session or a coaching session. I coach on anything from time management to relationship uh, coaching. Uh, I do help people through trauma that they've had in various relationships, especially narcissistic relationships. Um, and so, yeah, if you need your chakras, narcissistic balanced, relationships, yes. that's the buzzword nowadays. <laughs> um, everyone's dealing with, uh, it seems like everyone has a narcissist to deal with. Um, I, mean, I don't know if that's a, partly a buzz term or if that's just sort of a realization that this is a thing out there, but you know, you coach a lot of people. Um, and that seems to be something that, you know, tends to come up. Yeah, this it does. Narcissist thing. Yeah. What a is lot it? of the time. What is a narcissist? <sighs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to delve too deep into that. Lot. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot for this conversation. But yeah, I mean, you know, um, there's a lot of trauma that comes from uh, being in a narcissistic relationship. And let's face it, I mean, everybody has some narcissistic tendencies, but uh, some more than others, and so that can be very challenging to try to navigate that. Um, so I do. I do coach people. And there are some tricks of the trade. Yeah. Which yeah, especially if you've been through it. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. If you and and part of it is like just basically 
ignoring uh, the narcissist. I think that's one of the, <laughs> the best things that you can do. It drives a narcissist crazy. Okay, so uh, John Murray says, what up, friends? Hey, Hello, John. John. Uh, Jenna Reed, our dear friend. Jenna, Hello. with all the hearts. Uh, Curtis Janey. Uh, Curtis. Uh, tuning in. So all in the running for a free uh, energy work session. Trish Descanio. Hi, Hi John Mom. and Cara. So happy for you both. Love you guys. Great couple. Well, thank you. Uh, thank huh. you. Uh, she was at the wedding, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Soma with hearts. And, Hi, uh, and Soma. Soma, we've got to get you on the program. Yes. Um, I've been, you know, I've been trying for so long uh, to get an interview with Soma Di Nicola and uh, and we just haven't had it get together. But now uh, maybe, you know, and she doesn't have the brick and mortar anymore, which breaks our heart. But there, you know, there is a reason for everything. And we all go through a lot of shit. Yeah. We go through stuff and it makes us stronger on the other side. And I think, you know, for me, when I met Kara, you know, hey, listen, when you go through divorce, uh, when you go through rough times, um, you know, sometimes you find, you know, what you need and maybe you didn't know that. <laughs> exactly. And I think for both of us, it was like, it was magic. It was, it definitely was magic for sure. I never thought in a million years that we would be together. Yeah. But, but here we are. We found each other. Yeah. We found each other. So there's hope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And at the time we met, I was actually ready to just be single. Yeah. 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 I really. You know what? And I think sometimes that's when you finally let go is sometimes when the magic happens uh, because there's letting go and then there's really letting yes. go. And so, you know, kind of to the point, you know, if you're if you are in a position where you're looking for a significant other and you're pushing and pushing and pushing, often what you're doing is pushing it away, Yeah, I think. And then sometimes when you just are at ease with yourself, then all of a sudden that person comes through the door. Exactly. I think that's what happened with us. Yeah, that's exactly what happened because I remember having a conversation with a friend on the phone and I was just like, I don't want anybody. I just want to be the three musketeers, myself and my my two kids. And I really wasn't looking for anything. And then John rolled into my DMs asking about did my I, book. Did you, did you just out me? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's slide into the DMs. Whatever. Not I'm work. old. <laughs> did I roll into the DMs? Um, so you know that that's that's the sort of genesis. That's the uh, early story with with. Uh, I mean, you know, it's there's there's a lot of things you know to to unpack here because I, I think when you know we were together, it was COVID, and all of a sudden it was like bang. Uh, there's the holidays, and all of a sudden it, you know. People were so checked out, yeah. uh, you know, that it was a surprise to them. Like, how did this all happen? So we've, we've done a lot well, of... Because we actually spent more time talking than we did actually seeing each other. Yeah. So we saw each other one night a week for five months. <laughs> I don't know, a really long time. We saw each other one night a week and we couldn't really go anywhere because nothing was open. There was literally nothing open. So we were yeah. in great, we were not Great Barrington. We did go to Great Barrington, but uh, one time we met up in Northampton because I was working in a Newton and then uh, Car and I met in Northampton because it was in between. And literally we went all day trying to find a cup of coffee. We couldn't find, because in the middle of COVID, you know, we were outdoors. Everything was socially distanced. <laughs> Everything was closed. Even Dunkin' Donuts was closed. Yes. You Dunkin know Donuts. it's bad when Dunkin' Donuts is closed. Dunkin' closed. was closed. So then where did we go? We went to a Cumberland Farms, Cummies. <laughs> and <laughs> we went in there and, okay, we'll get a cup of coffee from, uh, poor Jess Rufo is listening and she's like, I can't believe you had to go to Cumbies for a coffee. But, but anyway, that was Northampton. But that was Northampton back in the teeth of COVID. And so then we got the coffee, went to the cash register, and lo and behold, the cash register was broken. And yeah. the woman said, I'm sorry, you can't buy that. And I said, just give us the cup of coffee. I know. I mean, my I know. Gosh, we here. were just walking some around. Cash. We walked around Northampton all, like, pretty much all afternoon and just sipped on that cup of coffee and <laughs> tried to make it last because we really, I mean... <laughs> But it was fun. Yeah. It was. It was. I fell in love with you that day. 
that day. That day. Eva Simonian says, hi, John and Kara. Hi, Eva. Hi. Yeah, and uh, Soma, I think she's referring to the um, reference to the narcissist. It's it's a lot of patience. Yes. Um, and uh, Soma says, I know. So we got to get you on the program, Soma. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll we're going to be, and, and, and here's another thing. If you have ideas for guests for the program, uh, put those in the comments now. Message us privately. Uh, you know, let us know who you want to hear from and you know wh what you want to hear about. Because I know I had a, uh, and, and by the way, my mom chimed in too about the narcissist and inflated sense of self-importance. I, I hope yes. that's what she's referring to. Yes, I'm um, sure she is. <laughs> We've had many <laughs> conversations about this. <laughs> Um, and Jenna says, love you, Cara and John. I know you'd be together. LOL. So, uh, oh, it's yeah. interesting. So yeah. Jenna, you know, predicted it as well. You had, well, why don't you tell the story? Be sure. I mean, it shows how good Jenna is. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was, it was years in advance. Yeah. So I had gone to Jenna because I was, uh, I was in a relationship that I really knew in my heart of hearts was not going to to go anywhere. And it, and it was sad, you know, because you always start, you always start a relationship with these intentions. And, uh, we had hit a, a rough patch and it was really rough. Um, and so I went to Jenna and we had this conversation and she said, well, if you break up with him now, then the new guy's right around the corner, but, you, but you, you have to, you have to kind of break up with him and when when you break up with him and when you're actually ready to let go of that there's this guy waiting and she described this guy and I was thinking and I was like I don't know anyone like that I don't I don't know anyone that that plays the guitar I don't know anyone <laughs> I'm like sitting there trying to think do I know anybody like this and I just didn't know anyone um and then it wasn't until we were in Northampton that day and i think you mentioned something about playing the guitar oh or something and something it just dark. dawned on me that holy cow <laughs> this is the guy this is the guitar man that jenna and i would you know we talked about and so i called jenna with john right next to me on a bench in northampton and i said guess who i'm with <laughs> i'm with the guitar man yeah. yeah and um i think yeah we we're both a little off balance that day too we were you know i think literally when, when the energy when the energy hits um it kind of does that uh kimberly ann says hello to you two beautiful people thank you hello. Kimberly. uh linda ormansky says hi john and cara and Jocelyn Moody, who has been on the podcast, and Jocelyn, you know, maybe maybe you can come on our show here too. Hey, y'all. Uh, she says, um, uh, "Oh, it skipped here. Um, where are we here? Uh, oh, hey, y'all. Congratulations on the new endeavor. Thank you. Thank you, John. I love that you quote unquote slid into the DMs. That's a boss move. <laughs> Go for what you want. Well." <laughs> I don't I, know if that's what you intended. No, I did. I really, I mean, I honestly, I had this thing where I was like, I had this image of just me sitting across from you and we were having a coffee and we were going to discuss publishing a book. Yeah. And, and John had a podcast at the time and it was a, it was, it was a political type podcast, which I wasn't really into the political aspect of it, but I really wanted to start a podcast and I was like, okay, he's got a podcast and I had published a book. And so it was kind of like, all right, let's meet for coffee and talk about this. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. And, and we did. And, and we then did. And uh, we had a long walk along the lake. That was actually a Noda a, Lake. That a Noda Lake. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. We met. <laughs> Again, because there was nowhere to go. <laughs> we met in the Dunkin' Donut parking lot. <laughs> Um, and, uh, so Andrew James, the Giacomo, hello, my friend, uh, was, uh, the Northampton Cumbies as colorful as ours, he asks. <laughs> um, at that point, I don't even know. I mean, it probably was at they that point. power, I feel like. The lights weren't even on in there. I mean, it was a really strange. The energy was so powerful. Yeah. We just took out the lights. We <laughs> took out the lights. <laughs> um, and uh, so, and and your mom says, "Do you remember when I told you you needed someone in a, a healthcare role?" Yes. See, you know, it's it's interesting when you're surrounded by a lot of people who are, who have abilities. Uh, yeah. Your mom has yeah. some psychic abilities too. Mm -hmm. So, and and I have worked in healthcare. Um, I still do, you know, as a consultant. Um, 
but uh, I worked in healthcare for several years. So Trish was talking about, hey, you know, healthcare. And, and she uh, was telling me that I needed to, I, I see you with someone in healthcare. And the only thing I could picture was like a male nurse. And I don't know why that's what I pictured, but I was like, mom, mom, come on, mom. No, I mean, I mean, I just couldn't, or Or I, well, I, I, in my mind, I was not picturing that, but I don't even think my mom was picturing a doctor either. I think she was more or less picturing like a physical therapist or somebody like that, because I think I asked her. Um, And so that was, gosh, that was maybe like a couple years before we met a year, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But nonetheless, when you said you were in healthcare. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. And that's interesting. Jenna says, I love this story and his middle name will be Mike. Oh yeah, so don't forget. <laughs> oh yeah. And my middle name is Michael. So she yes. nailed that one. Yeah. Um, and uh, Jocelyn says, I would love to come back on for another chat, but I love that it was an innocent connection that turned into a beautiful little love story. And it, it really was. <laughs> it, it was. Yes, <laughs> it really was. I mean, I was- Even though sliding into the DMs, yeah. has no, it, you know, yeah, you there's nothing tell, innocent. You didn't say you slid in because you didn't really- s- you weren't being like sliding, slidey. <laughs> <laughs> just rolled in there. <laughs> we rolled in there. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it is, it is a thing. So, so what are you drinking tonight? You- I'm drinking coffee in one cup, my Yeti. Yeah. That's my Yeti. This is from Jolene, John's sister yes. for our wedding. We got John and Cara on our Yetis. Which we had to have a late night coffee yeah. to make sure that we were all jazzed up for for show number one but you have something else i do i have something else and i have to say that i really i don't know and maybe it was <laughs> i've been watching tiktoks lately and um the algorithm has led me to a lot of these really funny tiktoks with husbands or boyfriends kind of like making fun of their girlfriends or wives and their uh stanley cups <laughs> so well, yeah, her, there you go. Make sure you can see the whole thing. Hold it up a little bit. So what is up with the Stanley Cups? And by the way, I want to, I, I really should adjust one of the poll questions that we have. We're going to, we're going to put that up there. Um, but one, one I'm uh, is going to say, uh, would you stand in line for a $45 Stanley Cup? But then um, I realized that I saw on uh, Walmart, because uh, I was just Googling it just for, deep research here um there <laughs> uh there it is uh yeah. 248 dollars and 69 cents for the valentine cup uh which is that pink one right there um that you see on the screen yeah uh, and if you're listening on the podcast it's the pink version and there's a red version but 248 dollars and 69 cents at walmart and this is not a resell this is straight from uh, Walmart. So uh, we saw the TikTok with uh, all the people who were running into. I think they uh, waited uh, out in the parking lot. Target, but... yeah, and you know all that. So it's it's something. It's a thing. It is. It is a thing, and apparently, it's a thing with the teenagers. Yes. And so my daughter, I'm not sure. Actually, I should probably know this, but I'm not sure if it was my mom that bought her the Stanley Cup. Or her dad. I'm not sure who it was, but we have two. And we just realized it last night. Yeah. (laughs) So I thought I would bring my daughter's Stanley Cup. By the way, I'm I'm, uh, going through some of these. It's heavy. I mean... Some of the some of the uh, husband videos are the funniest videos that are that are out there right now, Um, you know, with the husbands that are making fun of their wives uh <laughs> um and William Stanley and William Stanley yes um all right so we're going to unpack this uh in a little bit so uh Kimberly Ann says when uh by the way when Kara said slid in uh, as our teens would say uh pause <laughs> so there's all kinds of <laughs> teenage lingo like we're that's bussing in middle school cap. yeah when i taught middle school i knew all this lingo but it's been a little while. Yeah. I've been teaching elementary for three years now. So yeah. yeah. So um, I'm kind of out of touch with it. So there you go. You have the, you have the, um, the husbands who are coming in with buckets and painting them silver and uh, handing them to their wives. <laughs> there's your, there's your Stanley cup. Um, and, uh, but yeah, you know, $248 
but and and by the way mom gave it to sophia she had okay. one so sophia has she's our, our teenager so this is one of those things that the gen z uh is really in to the stanley but now let's unpack this a little bit and uh because the inventor soma, soma is telling us that the inventor is from great barrington yes but the inventor is william stanley and there's the William Stanley Business Park in Pittsfield. And actually, I remember standing next to the little river in Great Barrington. And there's a little hack, uh, a plaque there that honors William Stanley. It's right at the end of that little river walk. And it's a really nice place to sit and enjoy. Um, and uh, and there it is. So he actually is from Great Barrington. I mean, Cara, we've been there before. Yeah. A that, lot of times at that little area. Oh yeah, um, right at the end of the river walk. Mm -hmm. it was, you know, it's kind of a special place. It is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, he's from there. So, what could we do? So, here's the thing. So, if, all you marketing people out there, Soma, what could we do with this fact that the Stanley Tumblr started in the Berkshires? I don't know. What could yeah. we do with that? I think it's cool. I, I think you just you, realized that I saw a Facebook yeah. post about it the other night. Yeah, I think um, our friend Caitlin Pierce yeah. mentioned something about that. Caitlin had she posted, I think she had uh, one of like a 1920s uh, thermos or something. Really? I don't know. Caitlin, if you're that... if you're on. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Caitlin, uh, yeah, let us let us know. And by the way, um, I we have a high percentage of no. So uh, we'll put it in the video. Uh, do you own a Stanley Cup quencher tumbler? Ninety four percent say no, um, and uh, just six percent say uh, say yes. So we're in the we're actually in the minority on that. But maybe we don't have enough uh, Gen Z. Uh, on the show. So yeah, 94% uh, do not. So I, I, I guess, you know, the question is, would you stand in line uh, to uh, purchase a Valentine themed red or pink Stanley Cup? <laughs> and it's not $45, by the way. Uh, but apparently it's a lot more than that. So I think I know what the answer is going to be on that one as well as we put this poll out uh, for <laughs> everyone. So Soma. So so here's my idea. So Soma, Kara. Uh, Kimberly, um, we, uh, you, you should have a massive uh, Stanley tumbler um, on the top of the building at the William Stanley Business Park. You know, like that really, really cool. big. You know, you know how they have that. You know how they have that uh, cow on the top of that building on Route Nine. On the way, everybody yeah. knows that. <laughs> um, or here's another thing. Remember Sheeptacular? That was awesome. How awesome was Sheeptacular? I miss all that. Ah. That was so phenomenal. So here's my idea. We should have life. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do this, not with Stanley tumblers, but with anything, uh, even like big Legos. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That but would be really a cool. Stanley cup tumbler, life size fiberglass. And then the artists, they can all paint mm -hmm. and uh, and we can have, you know, Stanley Fest yeah. um, in, in downtown Great Barrington or downtown Pittsfield. Okay, so here we go. We got some results coming in. Now, if it's $45, now what if it's $200? Well, anyway, so would you stand in line to purchase a $45 Valentine-themed red or pink Stanley Cup? And the answer is 46% says no. 46% says hell no. <laughs> <laughs> and 8% uh, that being one person said yes. Okay, so there yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, well, it's definitely. I mean, I don't know. There's, they are pretty popular, but it's like I said, this is heavy. This is full of ice and water, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, if I had to carry this in to school with my school bag, yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a, heavy. it's a hell of a workout. Yeah, it's but a there's enough workout. water for an entire day. Now there, there's uh. Another poll question that I want to put out there, and that is because uh, we just announced the other day on, on Psychic Sunday that Kara is actually teaching a course at Berkshire Community College about writing a book. So, uh, so I'll put a poll on that. So tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. It's a creative writing uh, workshop course. And, um, and so in that, we'll be actually writing, we'll be creating, and then I'm going to go over different ways to publish. Hmm. So I think I've had so many people reach out to me and ask me questions 
about publishing. And it's just, there's a lot of information about it. So I figured um, I'll create a course. So I created the course a couple of years ago. Um, and so I'm going to bring it to life at Let, BCC let's do starting it. January 24th. Let's do it. So, you know, so we got some people who want to write some write a, write a book. Um, some people may, but they don't know how. So uh, we'll get that link. Yeah, we, oh, I got the link. I can put I pop it in the comments. Okay, so uh, someone says we need a commercial. Uh, that would be really cool. Jessica Hall, our dear friend. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Says, I don't get it. It's a water bottle. My teen wants one, though. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I, if it's if it's your daughter, I'm sure she does. My daughter. It's the same thing. It's just. It's super. I mean, I guess. I guess. I don't know. It, before this, though, before the Stanley Cup, it was the Hydro Flask. What is the was, Hydro Flask? I the can't Hydro remember what that Flask is. didn't. I don't think it has a handle. This one has a handle. The Hydro Flask was like a big, giant. It's like a. Like, I mean, I guess it came in all different sizes, but it was like this big thermos thing <laughs> that I guess the thing now is just big, like just do yeah. things big and col colorful yeah. and um, all you different know, colors. It's kind of yeah. like a uh, squirrel. You know? Yeah. It's like a <laughs> and the Hydro Flask was like pretty popular because they called. So there was like this group of girls, I guess, teenage girls called uh, Visco Girls. And it was like they made these sounds and it was save the turtles. And then they had the Hydro Flask. And yeah, Sophia was a Visco girl for trick or treat a few years ago. Nice. <laughs> nice. With her Hydro Flask. Well, oh, I mean, hey, when <laughs> and her scrunchies, when was I mean, what was the very first one? Uh, Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, yeah. I mean, different, totally different level. And that's the Christmas holiday and everything like that. But like what, you know, these things that of value, there's no incredible value to it other than the fact that there's this sort of market that's been created by this craze. And this was a real craze. I mean, you know, Target being sold out and now, you know, $250 uh, bottles being sold uh, at Walmart. I mean, it's it's insane, but it tells you the power of great marketing, I it's guess. It's true because they said the Stanley Cups have been out for a long time, mm. like several years, and they really didn't take off until they got just the right marketing. Yes. Yeah. So there you have it. Yeah. Um, so let's get, um, I per yeah, and uh, Trish said he purchased Ricky a hydro flask for Christmas. Well, yeah. So Ricky nice got it. <laughs> 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 Ricky's a few, a couple years younger than Sophia, so it's like he wants everything his sister has to a point. I mean, yes, you know the Hydro Flask. He really wanted one. He's not at the Stanley. I can't imagine him care. I mean, I don't know. There it but, is. There. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Um. So I want to know uh, what uh, you, as the viewers, would like to to hear from us. Uh, on uh, the program again this is just a launch we're having fun yeah. um talking about and you know we'll continue to have fun but uh you know who do you want to see uh, on the podcast um what would you like to hear about as far as issues um you know uh, we're all about you know family hey listen we're we're all we're all in this you know we all have families uh, many of us and um we have you know in, in our case uh we've been through the process of Blending a family, yes. which is one of the reasons we came up with the term and and the name, the blend. Um, mm -hmm. You know, people it, it I, you know, sometimes people jokingly say it that we're the Brady Bunch family, yeah. Um, and we are, um, but it's a real thing. It's a real thing bringing uh, two families together, um, and you know, step kits and you know, making it all work. Um, you know, it's it's a real beautiful thing, and it's much more than it's, the norm. It is, and it is intricate too. So yeah. It's, you know, it, it, I think for us, it was in a way a little bit easier than it is for other people. I don't know. Um, our kids really like each other. So that was a bonus. It was really, that was cool. And you kind of have, it's like a, uh, like a nice little waterfall effect because it's almost like, you know, Sophia's the big sister. Mm -hmm. She's the, the only girl, the only girl. And then, you know, and, and no one's the same age either. You know, Ricky's a little bit older than Arden and, yep. and, and on down the line. So I think that that's really 
you know, helpful, you know, because there's not any kind of, I mean, there's always a little bit of competitiveness yeah. <laughs> with kids and everything, but, um, but it's really, yeah. I mean, I don't listen, we, I've only done this once, so I, I don't know yeah. how this is supposed to work, but it sure seems to work really well and it can work really well. Um, and I guess I would love to hear from other families and, and how they do it. And, you know, we can have those conversations. Kimberly Ann says, I have to get my daughter in the bath in a few. So I hope you both have a blessed night. Keep uh, being you because you both are awesome. Well, thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. That's very sweet. And uh, Deb Sadawi says, hi, John and Kara. Hi, Deb. So happy for the both of you doing this podcast. You're both great positive energy and contribute so much to the community. Um, by the way, uh, Deb, we have this awesome patch. Yes, Deb. We're in and uh, de- introduced us to this. Deb introduced us to this. Um, God, I don't mean, know. What is the name of it? Uh, uh, it's yeah. called, um, I think, uh, oh, my gosh, Deb. Help us out. <laughs> it's us. new. It we're new. We're new to we're the new patch. To because we're you know we're just trying it out. So life wave. Life wave. So what you do is you take these this this patch and especially in the northeast, um, we don't get a lot of sun. Mm-hmm. And especially lately in the winter time, and we get one day of sun and then like four days of clouds and, and and whatever. So that's kind of how it has been. And this isn't just about vitamin D. Uh, you know, your body has certain bio waves and everything. So what this patch does, Life Wave uh, X thirty nine. Yes, that, yeah, there it is. There it is. So she, you know. So anyway, so we'll put a link up. Um, Cara, yep. you'll put your link up. Yeah, because John and I decided we've been wearing the patch every single day, and I had seen Deb post something about it on Facebook, and I had heard about them before uh, because I have friends that you know from basically all over the world on Facebook uh, because I am an online marketer. And um, but then I saw Deb post and I'm like, wow, I know Deb, you know, so I reached out to her and she, we got on board with LifeWave and it's been amazing. So we will go into depth more on LifeWave. Yeah. And we'll, um, and we'll put a link out there yeah. also on there. Um, so yes, de- thank you for that. Because I put that on for the very first time and I was like, whoa. This yeah, is within really within works. I'd say like an hour or two, we could feel the difference. Yeah, you definitely feel the difference. Yeah. So um, you know, more energy. It, it it is it you definitely yeah. have more energy. It is really cool. So um, so Soma, yeah, we'll you know, we'll we'll tell you all about it. Yes. And um um and then jenna said this will be awesome air every tuesday evening at seven yeah i think so i mean well yeah. the, the reason why we picked tuesday is because it's it's the night that uh, we don't have the boys on on tuesday nights it just so happens that that's the schedule um so it kind of makes it easier for us yeah uh to be able to do my it, kids so. are, are typically my daughter's skiing um you know but yeah so the kids are typically when we have them right now in the winter they're we're at bus gay we're at bus gay. a lot of the time all the time yeah yeah and if we could and if we could uh, every single night if my kids could be at Bosque, they would be definitely mm-hmm. be there they would definitely be there it has been an amazing season already even though it took a little while to get some real snow out there so uh mary mcginnis says you two are amazing hi mary hey, mary how are you uh love you and trish uh, uh, says yes they're great i've educated myself on this i want to order for my husband and i let's go car. yes <laughs> okay. so we're gonna get you started and soma says interesting so um so what i want and i'm asking you uh to do as our viewers um is please share with us you know your thoughts on our podcast uh what you'd like to see we want to create a community around it um really that's what we've done um you know with with programs over the years and um and this is something that we've always wanted to do uh, since yeah. car <laughs> uh, <laughs> since we really got to know each other back you know four years ago three you know about four years ago now and uh, and so this is this is really cool so please you know put it in the comment section but also um you know private message us and if you have ideas for for guests i mean we have pretty darn good ideas already yeah, we have we have uh, a really good lineup and we'll be in touch with people but we want to know what you would like to see and hear yes for sure and um we want to hear about Kara's writing ability that's what we want to hear about <laughs> we want to hear about the next installment of fairy slippers fairy slippers i do have a i do have other books that I want to publish, but the children's books were kind of a, a labor of love and I wanted to get those out first. Yes. So but, yeah. So let's do that. So all right. So this is a good start, everybody. 
Um, we love you all. And love you uh, we're all. very, very happy with uh, the number of uh, viewers and the kind comments and um, some fun discussion and, and responses. Uh, and by the way, let's get the final results on, uh, on do you want to write a book? So we have 40% that says maybe, but I don't know how to get started. So there you go. So yeah. there you go. So that's so you need to talk to Cara and, and get uh, scheduled for. Uh, <laughs> I've helped a lot of people get published. So, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So, <laughs> well, we love you, everybody. Um, we'll be seeing you uh, every Tuesday at seven o'clock and uh, and and more is on the way. So um, we'll get started. We're going to be posting this uh, on. Obviously, we're going live, but then we're also going to post this on YouTube and also uh, on the audio podcast version as well. Uh, so, you know, we're having fun and, um, and we love you all. Yeah. Love you all. Have a good night.